Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hatchbot Economics. It's your girl, Connie. And if you haven't done so, please go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification button. So this is the nitty gritty. This is why I made this site. This is the best part of Hatchbot. Might not be as exciting as, as, exciting as all the uh, Drake and Serena stuff, but it's just as important. Okay, so this is the Small Business Association. Before I get into this website, um, one of the biggest things or the biggest things that you don't know is about small business. A lot of black women are not savvy into small business association. And this is actual government, United States um, funded website. So you can see right there, United States Small Business Association. So you see a lot of black women go into business and become an entrepreneur and they don't really take advantage of all the stuff you know all the business guides all the funding programs all the contracting the learning centers because a lot of times i speak to black women and i try to spread awareness about becoming an entrepreneur and securing your financial freedom one of the biggest things that black women say is that i don't know anything about business i didn't go to college or they might say something like um they're not familiar with this certain you know business but they're interested in it there's absolutely no need to you know, be scared because, you know, they have every resource and it's absolutely free. So if you stick with me in this video, I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes really quick and very, very essential, very, very impactful. So the first thing you can do is go to the learning center. Um, if you touch it right there, the learning center actually walks you through a bunch of, you know, programs, videos, and you can actually learn about, you know, how to start your own business um, how to get mentors, how to market your products. And it depends on your field, what that's going to be. And they talk about tech. They talk about finding funding, um, the learning center here. They talk about contracting. So it's a really good page and it's a massive page. So let's just say we start in the first column. You see, it says business guy. This is what the best part is, guys. Look, plan, try to keep it open for you. Plan your business, all right? It walks you through the steps. Market research and competitive analysis. Write your own business plan. Calculate your startup costs. Fund your business. And, you know, buy an existing business or franchise. One of the hottest franchises, I think, definitely for black women, is all the fitness franchises. CKO, um, the, the kickboxing stuff you guys see. Definitely get into that. Fitness is one of the most untapped resources in terms of franchises that African Americans don't get into and we actually have a need for it. Fitness is a big need in the black community. Um, if you go to the next column, it talks about launching your business, how to pick a business location, how to choose a business structure, choosing a business name, registering your business, how to get a federal and state tax ID, applying for a license and permit. And now the SBA is located all over the United States. It's not like it's one or two states. This is in almost every single state and we're going to talk about demographics and planning and business in a moment and it even walks you through managing your business managing your finances how to hire and manage employees pay taxes stay legally compliant buying assets and equipment marketing and sales preparing for emergencies closing or selling your business and the last column on their business guide um, it talks about growing your business, getting more funding, expanding to new locations, yada, yada, yada. So this site is massive. And I actually do tutoring and coaching and training how to use this site. It is a huge site. And it's probably one of the most underutilized tools that African-American women don't take advantage of. Really, it is. Because all these nail salons y'all see, all these hairdressers y'all see, all these dry cleaners, all these laundromats, these people are not moving here with guap. They're not coming from these countries stacking high. They're taking advantage of these programs. And let me let, let me let you know a little trick. If you are an African American, that's already one minority plus you get. It really helps you in these types of government funded programs. If you're a minority woman, that's that's two points you're gonna get. If you're a minority woman over the age of 38, because that's a legally federally protected status over 38 years old, you're actually gonna get even more funding. So this is something that we definitely need to know. This is why I made this page so you can truly take advantage and start your business and get get that money. So they talk about funding programs. 
They talk about loans, investment capital, security, security bonds, disaster assistance, and grants. And they talk about contracting. So if you want to do government contracting, you want to work for the government, qualify as a small business. And my favorite is the learning center. So now we talk about local assistance. And if you touch local assistance, it actually takes you to all the small business association offices. No, thanks. All the offices across the United States. Okay. So they have offices all over. They have 21 offices in Maine. Vermont, New York got 84, Pennsylvania got 65. So as I'm touching the states, every state has an office. Texas has 113 offices. Like there isn't a state without office. So a lot of people say to me, Connie, um, is this only New York? Uh, no, every state has an office. Every state has multiple offices. Texas got 113 Wyoming got 13, North Dakota, South Dakota got 20, 26 offices, Minnesota got 29, I'm just picking random, Missouri got 65, Arkansas got 18, Mississippi got 21, Alabama got 29, Florida got 67, North Carolina got 48, California has 146 offices, so there is no excuse, Alaska, damn Alaska, got 13 offices. Hawaii got 14. America, Samoa. Come on, man, son. They got an office too. Okay. So you have to understand, you know, Puerto Rico got 20. Okay. So is that the Virgin Islands? Virgin Islands? Virgin Islands got six. Son, there is no excuse. Black women, open your businesses. Black women, take advantage. If you need help with this site, I'm thinking about starting another um, website where I can go more in depth um, and really train you guys on how to use this site because I'm using this site as well. And it's a really good site. You get a lot of help, a lot of a lot of um, free classes. You can go into these centers and they will help you. Let's just say you go into a New York center. They have the Women's Business Center, Okay. They have U.S. Export Assistance Center. If you're a veteran, they got the veteran centers. All right. So it, there's there's no reason. There, there's no reason like for you not to have access. A lot of people say, Connie, is it only New York? No, this is United States. This is really exciting, guys. So one thing I want to take us to is the Women's Business Center, because everybody listening to this should be a woman. And the Women's Business Center represents a national network of over 100 educational centers throughout the United States and its territories, which are designed to assist women in starting and growing small businesses. Women's Business Center seeks to level the playing field for women entrepreneurs who still face unique obstacles in the business world. The SBA of Office of Women's Businesses oversees the WBC network, which provides entrepreneurs, especially women who are economically or socially disadvantaged. So that is the highlight right there. Let me highlight that bad boy. So what the key is, is especially women who are economically or socially disadvantaged. So it's they're focusing on black women, Spanish women, minorities, and it offers you free comprehensive training and counseling on a variety of topics. So let's just say you want to open up a nail salon. You have no idea what goes into it. You have no idea what to do. They will do it for you. They will help you. Not do it for you, but do it with you. And these are all the offices. All the offices, okay? There's pages down there. Black women, get on it, okay? Get on it. This is not a joke. All right, so the next one, this is America's SBDC. This is an accredited um, technology program, and this one is really unique. It's the New York City, New York Small Business Development Center provides small business owners and entrepreneurs in New York with the highest quality pro bono, confidential business, counseling training, and business research. We work with real people and real business. Our assistants help people like you achieve real success. So this is what is really exciting. Um, they reach out to minorities. This is a New York thing. But like I said, 
If you're serious about open businesses, look at the demographics. Look to see where that business will be the most profitable. If you're truly thinking about opening a physical location, you really need to see if there's a need in your area for that business. Like, for instance, there's certain things that open in Manhattan that I know won't be the same if it opens up in Wyoming and South Dakota. So definitely see where your passion takes you. Do the research or you can walk into one of these centers and they teach you how to do a market analysis. They teach you how to research that market, how to read that data. So it's really good. One of my favorite things that I've used before is SCORE. SCORE is super cool. Okay. You can build your business with SCORE. So basically what they do is they partner you up with a mentor. All right. And they actually have that mentor work with you. Let's just say you want to open a tech business or you want to open a, a dry cleaners or you, they find somebody who's successful in that business, somebody that's mentoring, offering their time, and that person becomes your partner. And it's free. It is free. SCORE is the nation's largest network of volunteer expert business mentors with more than 10 thousand volunteers in 300 chapters as a resource partner of the u.s small business association sba score has helped more than 10 million entrepreneurs through mentoring workshops and educational resources so this is a, before we go crazy this is what i'm talking about when i say economic empowerment and you know financial freedom black women they're you know it, there's so much that we don't know, and I want to kill that. I want to become facts. I want to become <laughs> become factual. I don't want us to be in the dark anymore. There's no need. And isn't it funny when you're going to college, they don't talk about these things. Isn't it funny when you're in college, do they teach you to network to the Small Business Association? Do they teach you to network to SCORE? It's been around for a while. Do they teach you to network to your neighborhood or city, Small Business Council? No. And these are the things that make economic empowerment. Opening up a dry cleaners, opening up a laundromat, opening up a hair salon, opening up a nail salon, opening up a spa. These are the things that are going to actually free you especially the African-American face so much adversity. Once you reach a corporate level or approach a corporate level, there's only about 1.5% of black women in American corporate society. Does that make any sense to you? And African-American women are overrepresented in the lowest paying jobs in the, pro, in the union sector. So you have a lot of black people who are running to union jobs only because they feel protected. And even then, they're in the lower spectrum in terms of salary. So this is the way you can have true empowerment with your economics. And this is the way you can truly free yourself financially because these are great businesses to invest in. The nail business alone is worth like over what? $8.9 billion. And when I say nails, I just mean nails. I'm not talking about threading or waxing or, you know, all the other stuff they do on the side in a nail salon, just straight up nails. There's so much opportunity because the market's not even saturated. You, you don't even have a lot of nail salons in contrast to the, to the revenue it's producing. So I hope that makes sense. Last but not least, money, 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 money. My favorite thing in the world, green, 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 green. <laughs> so this is the Small Business Grants for Women top go-to sites. Again, guys, before I end this video, everything I talked about is going to be in the link in the description box. And also um, videos that are related to this, that support this type of idea. <laughs> so make sure you take the time to look at the videos and be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links because everything I'm talking about here is going to be in the link so you can access this stuff for yourself. Again, I'm considering opening a website so I can really guide black women and coach them how to make these dreams happen. It's not impossible. So really quick before I go, federal small business grants for women. The federal government offers some grants for small business owners, but they're designated for very specific purposes, such as certain research and development projects, projects for businesses in rural areas. Government grants can be used to cover startup costs or day-to-day -day expenses, and most aren't earmarked specifically for women. So government grants, you got to look into that. They're very restrictive, but hey, take a look at it. Just make sure you filter the results on the left side of the page to view grants specifically, okay? 
Innovate Her Challenge, the U.S. Small Business Association hosts an annual competition for businesses with marketable product or service that positively affects women's lives. To participate, you must first enter and win a local Innovate Her Challenge, which is not hard, to advance the national semifinal. The top three national finals will win 40000 20000 and 10000 respectively. See, who's winning that money? It, who's winning that? If black people are not doing it, Hispanic people aren't doing it, who's doing it? Exactly. Um, number three is the Small Business Innovation Research and Small Business Technology Transfer Programs. The SBA facilitates these two competitive programs, which ultimately provide grants to small businesses that contribute to federal research and development. Eleven federal agencies, including the Department of Agriculture, Defense, and the Health and Human Services, post grant opportunities on their websites. You can search all grant opportunities on the SBIR website. Okay, so state and local small business grants. So you got the Women's Business Center. That's the SBA that sponsors about 100 women business centers nationwide. You got the Economic Development Agencies, which is right down here. You got the Small Business Development Centers. And then you got private small business grants for women. You got the AMBER Grant, which awards $500 to different women-owned businesses every month. Okay, you got the Eli Fisher Women-Owned Business Grant that awards up to $100,000 up to 10 women business owners each year. And you have the FedEx Small Business Grant, and you also have the Mission Main Street Grant. So guys, there are so much things out there. And this was the point of this video. Um, I don't want to get too wordy and too lengthy because people's attention span be mad limited. And I know it's a lot of words in me talking, but this is crucial. This is economic empowerment and freedom. This is so easy. You got people coming and opening bodegas and opening Dominican hair salons and opening Chinese restaurants and opening laundromats, dry cleaners. You name it, they open it. And you know what? Good for them. It is time for us to open our eyes and get in line. No hating. No hating. Because there is no law saying you cannot do the same. And I am here to bring awareness whether it's socially, whether it's economically or financially. So this is more of the business realm of my page. I hope you found this information exciting, okay? And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll probably have to develop a website so it can do more of this in peace, more of this interactive and coaching. If you're interested in that, please let me know because I want you to get money. Uh-uh, get money, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check the description box for the links and like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.